Hi guys, it's Gareth here from Neon Sales again, uh, bringing you guys a very exciting preview today. So, in my hand you might be wondering, well, what's this? This is a very beefy sized magazine, long enough for to the king of all hand guns, the HDR 68. And this is a real beefy boy, normally 0.68 caliber is consigned, uh, for example, to paintball markers, likewise also the Berna HDA, uh, the Berna HD, sorry. And then this one is a sort of more recent addition to the 0.68 uh, handgun liner. So really nice. I suspect this will outshoot the Berna. Uh, the Berna more or less scores up to 11 joules, similar to the HDP 50, which is, uh, I expected a little bit more, but I expect, because thanks to this, like, what's this, like six inch barrel right here, uh, that uh, increased barrel length, I'm sure that will outshoot the Berna HD and for a number of reasons as well because first and foremost, what I'm holding here in my hand is one of our triple twist slugs so you'll see that contains a 6mm steel shot nickel clad there and the rest of the slug it's self rifling so as you, as you shoot it, it catches the wind and then it rifles or rotates itself similar to a firearm bullet or like a shotgun slug would when fired through a smoothbore barrel which of course the uh, HDR68 also has smoothbore barrel so when you fire it normal with shot uh, the shot is not twisted etc but these ones they just twist themselves as you shoot them so you do get better downrange accuracy or groupings with them and likewise that steel tip there is going to make anyone's day very unpleasant so I've already loaded up uh, four of them. The magazine capacity, of course, is five shots. So I'll load this up, just chuck it like this. Just pushes in, sits nice and flush, as you can see. This is a business egg with the gas is going to propel the rounds through. So, now it goes with the HDR 68. Um, likewise, similar to your other T4E platforms, just drop your prop and so you can I have a ASG branded one here. So, this one nozzle down, just goes like that. Um, I just chop my screw, nothing fancy. You all already know all of this. More, most guys look watching this video already know all of this. Um, just we'll quickly run you guys through this checkering here, this periodical box checking is what I put with a nice finger scallops here for ergonomy. I really love this. It really has a like, really nice purchase on this gap. Of course, you will notice you have your white sights as well, so non-adjustable, but of course you line your two. And the, this is nice for shooting in conditions where there's low light, such as um, early dawn and late dusk. You know, when the, and I've had the, that same problem myself. You know, there were some stray dogs, and I had to rely on my HDR50 to shoot them. You know, because they were like like feral dogs. You know, like when dogs uh, dogs when they're out in a out in the street left to fend for themselves they become like a pack of wolves so to say so i could defend myself against some of them yeah uh, didn't have these fatty sights on my hdr 50 but this one now luckily it comes with it so if you want to smoke your problems etc these sights will really come in handy and of course extended picatinny rail here so you can mount um you can mount your red up there minute light dirt uh, you can put it's large enough you can probably uh, mount whatever you'd like on there a laser point or flashlight there if you were so inclined um, otherwise you're more than welcome to use the uh, revolver just like this it's really lovely piece of equipment I really like this but it is a bit beefy for everyday carry I mean imagine carrying this fucking thing here and a holster here on your side you know it's not really it's it's uh, goes beyond the realm of practicality now it's it's possible but it's it's just a bit goofy it will it will look like this is more of a glove box gun if you take it out etc you know this this guy here with his with his stolen beretta 92 or whatever noringo pistol ties rock hey baba hey baba oh, no Lani, please please i'm sorry <laughs> so yeah so this similar to the HDR50, let's chuck this, this loads up like this, okay, nothing funky, nothing crazy, etc. So, okay, so now I'm going to, similar to the HDR50, that now indicates that the uh, thing is not pressure, so if I pull this thing, this thing is going to go off. Just for the record, these slugs weigh in 75 grains, exactly like an AR15 round, so it is quite weighty. Um, yeah, caliber of course is considerably larger. Uh, yeah, so now we're gonna do some 
uh, current graph testing on this. I'm going to see what figures we can pull off. As you guys saw, the CO2 capsule is fresh. It is an ASD brand one. So I'm not you. I'm using a normal gas CO2 capsule. It's a, so I'm going to test this thing now. So yeah. Okay. So first, this thing is going to be very loud. The big balls. Okay. okay. I'm going to shoot now. Just watch out. First shot. Yes. Three hundred and thirty-two point six. That's off and up. That's like sixteen joules right there. Okay. Second shot. Yes. 296 units, this thing even has a record. <laughs> okay, third shot, 325. That's I uh, scoring 16 joule consistently there. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, never mind. Uh, fourth shot, 293.7 feet per second. Uh, this is crazy. Man. Next, uh, last shot, 298.2 feet per second. Very consistent, and the magazine should now be empty, which it is. I'm going to point this in the set area. Some very funky muzzle energies we've got there. I'm very pleased with that. Very consistent as well. I mean, that thing is shooting like a paintball marble with an upgraded spring. I mean, that's that's crazy. But anyways, yeah, there you guys have it. Hope you guys. I'll put some more figures on there, etc. Just to, with a rundown, etc. To show you exactly what foot per pound and joule you've got, etc. Okay, thanks.